New puppy owners may not be familiar with the term crate training. Crate training is simply the process of using a crate to assist in the overall training process. It has obvious benefits for younger puppies that will be discussed throughout this article. For example, if you have a full-time job and do not wish to spend the money on doggy daycare, crate training will be appealing. It also has the benefit of reducing the amount of personal property that is typically destroyed from chewing throughout the first few months of owning a puppy. When a puppy owner leaves their puppy behind, the puppy will usually experience separation anxiety and boredom. The result of boredom with a puppy is typically destroyed property like shoes, furniture, children's toys, and pillows. If confined to a, f a crate during your absence, there is nothing for the puppy to destroy when they become anxious, lonely, or curious. One of the best advantages to crate training is that it can make the potty training process shorter and easier. Since a puppy will be reluctant to relieve himself in the crate where he eats, sleeps, and plays, he will wait to be released before urinating. A crate can also be used while traveling. Once the dog is completely trained, many puppies actually prefer their crate as a resting spot or place to go when feeling overwhelmed or seeking solitude. The size of the crate is extremely important and is determined by the size of your puppy. This may mean having to buy additional crates as the dog ages and gets bigger. The reason for this is that crate training puppies may be tempted to potty in one area of the crate and rest in another if the crate has ample room to do so. While training, you want to discourage urinating in the crate. Take your dog's measurements with you when purchasing the new crate, so you will leave the puppy enough room to be able to play and move around, but not enough to relieve himself. It is also a good idea to strategically place the crate in certain areas. You want your puppy to feel comfortable and not isolated when you are at home. Consider placing the crate in a high traffic area to reduce the feeling of punishment when in the crate. Remember, occasionally there will be accidents, more when the puppy is in training, and you will need to place the crate on top of a washable surface just in case. To prepare for crate training, you'll need to make the crate inviting and welcoming for your new dog. Get some soft but easy to clean bedding to line the bottom of the crate. Crate training puppies love to chew, so try to find a fabric that can't easily be chewed to pieces. Place a handful of fun toys and treats inside to make the area even more enticing. Once the crate is properly prepared, begin placing a small amount of puppy food or a treat inside. Let the puppy investigate and begin to associate the crate with things it loves like soft bedding, toys, and treats. Sometimes, actually getting the puppy into the crate can be the most challenging part, so you may need to take more gradual steps such as feeding him just outside it for a while. As he grows more comfortable, begin placing the food into the crate to encourage the dog to enter. Show plenty of praise when the puppy finally enters the crate. Do not press the issue by forcing the dog to go in. This will end up being counterproductive as you want the puppy to love his crate. Keep in mind, it may take some time. If time permits, Crate training puppies should be done in a gradual process where you crate him for short periods of time while you are still present. Eventually, try removing yourself from the room so he can become accustomed to your absence, but at the same time, learn that you will always come back. Once the dog is comfortable in the crate, you can leave for longer periods of time. Remember, though, that small puppies also have small bladders. So you'll need to come home often to let your puppy out to relieve himself. As your puppy grows into a full-fledged dog, he will be able to control his needs for longer periods of time. While crate training puppies has many rewards, there are also potential dangers. Make certain you remove your puppy's collars before confinement, as they can become stuck in the bars of the crate. You could always use a breakaway collar instead if you are not comfortable. Do not place the crate in areas that the temperature varies drastically. Also, make sure to take the puppy outside to potty before leaving him in his crate to ensure that the bladder is empty. Do not use the crate for punishment purposes as this could discourage your puppy from really enjoying his own space 
and it will become a battle to get him to enter. Since your puppy will be spending so much time confined in one space, plan regular walks or exercise to make up for it. The crate is your puppy's own private space, therefore do not allow children or other dogs to play in it. Moving towards crate training puppies may initially seem a bit cruel because of the caging aspect of it. However, a crate can become a puppy's private den, and you may be surprised to find your dog resting or hanging out in their crate even when they are not required to do so. Add to the fact that it makes your dog easier to train, gives him a safe area while you are away, and can be used as a traveling item, you may find more reasons to love crate training puppies than you thought possible. If you need more information or coaching in any area of dog and puppy care from training to advanced tricks to how to care for your dog or puppy, please visit us at perfectpuppycare.com. You can also join our basic coaching program that will teach you how to train your new puppy or dog in various areas so that you can have the perfect puppy or dog. Join us at myperfectpuppycare.com to sign up for our free basic training program.